Yellowstone, with its famous hot springs and spectacular geysers, is one of the most famous national parks in the US, drawing millions of visitors each year. The park's stunning scenery is due to magma that lies miles beneath the surface, part of one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. But the exact nature of this magma reservoir and its potential for eruption remains a mystery. According to research published in the journal Nature on Wednesday, a volcanic eruption in Yellowstone National Park is unlikely because the structure of the magma formation beneath it and the focus of volcanic activity would shift to the northeast. Also, although there is a large amount of magma, it is not sufficiently connected. Despite the large volume of magma, the area would remain volcanically active because the magma is stored in separate reservoirs, making it too dispersed to trigger a volcanic eruption during this time. Beneath Yellowstone Park, there are two different types of magma. The first is basaltic magma, which is responsible for most of the volcanic activity on Earth. Because of its lower resistance to flow, it is more likely to erupt. However, beneath Yellowstone, this type of magma is dense and embedded deep in the Earth's crust, making an eruption unlikely. The second type, rhyolitic magma, is thicker and has a higher resistance to flow. At Yellowstone, basaltic magma heats the surrounding rock, helping to create rhyolitic magma in the Earth's upper crust. However, a volcanic eruption caused by this formation is still unlikely because it would require a significant increase in pressure to trigger an eruption of rhyolite magma. Such a large earthquake is very different from the usual activity that draws tourists to the